Hi guys, it's Angel from Oxy Brew Crafts. <clears throat> Coming to bring you a tutorial today how to make this pretty bit of pretty card. Um, I'm going to be using the watercolour pencils, which I just lush. Um, the colour ray is lovely, really, really beautiful colours. Whoops, as I'm dropping them all. There's another set I want to get as well, but these are my favourite so far. And the colours are Real Red, Calypso Coral, Pumpkin Pie, Daffodil, Delight, Oak, Old Olive, Bermuda Bay, Pacific Point, Rich Razzleberry, Melon Mambo, Early Espresso, Basic Grey, Basic Black and Whisper White. And they are lush. They really, really, really do colour lovely. Um, I used to do a lot of painting. Well, I still do, but that was where I mainly started in crafts was painting so to go back to my roots a bit it's been really lovely so I've stamped out this image from Essence of Blooms in stays on ink so that you won't get no smearing it won't bleed it won't anything it will dry nicely and you can watercolour also, I'm on watercolour paper. Um, this is from my old watercolour pads that I used to do. Um, quite thick and sturdy. And you don't get no ruffling when the card gets wet, so it's really lovely. So, easy as that. Um, and then you just need some water and a paintbrush. Um, you can use the Acquia blends, brushes, whatever they are on Stampin' Up! But like I say I'm a painter so a paintbrush for me is nice um, and just choose your colours um, I'll make the same card but in a different colour and we'll do some pinks to match the papers so it's all you do well it was all I do anyway is I just colour around the edge like so and on this one just around the top so you get the darker colour at the top and the light at the bottom. Little piece of water. <clears throat> I've got my fan behind me so this really isn't helping much. <laughs> and if you don't like it's not dark enough, just take some paint from the end of your brush. There you go, and add some more colour. I like to try, if I put this brush this side, then you might see it a bit better. I like to push my colour to the top of my image. So if I keep my blush brush flat to the top of the image, and just go around in little circular motions, like so. And the next one, it's very therapeutic. Just turn your work with you and wherever you want the darker of the colour to go, just push it with the tip of your brush, like so. So you'll get the darker images, like a shadow around the top, and then naturally it should go light towards the bottom. And that was Melamambo, really lovely. Right, we're going to do some leaves, which is Old Olive. And again, I just put some around the top and not all over, just so that you can drag the colour down and it will naturally blend. So the leaves... I just do the tips like so. so. Just do the tips. Again, your brush, just drop off your excess and just circular motions, and you'll see that blend in. Lovely. All right. That little bit. So keep your colour pushed to the top if you can and just dab the end of your brush if you need it a little bit darker 
and the colour will just radiate down your brush lovely. Use tiny little circular motions. There we go. You should naturally have a light and a darker area on flowers and leaves and on practice you'll be able to get the colour where you want it like I say just push push the tip of that brush to the edge of your black line and you get that I hope you can see that all right and like I say if you need any more colour just run your brush over your nib and just push that colour back up lovely all right i think i'm going to stick oh no we've got a dark rich razzleberry we'll try this one on the big flower again i just color some around the top of the petals So it doesn't matter how much you put on because you can add more as you go along. Like so. And then I tend to add a little bit around the middle on your lines and then you can just pull the colour back up from the middle like so. It's all you need, just a little bit around the edges. Whoops, drop on your brush. And again, just hold your brush to the top where your colour is. And just go around in little circular motions so that will get rid of all of your pen lines, your pencil lines even. Like so. You really don't need a lot of water on your brush. Always wipe off the excess. There's too much, and you'll just you'll just get a blob, and that'll ruin your work. Just keep turning your work so your brush is up the end where you put your colour. Think so. There we go. And just pull your brush down on your lines in the middle and it look like you've got little veins. But we want the edges a little bit darker on that one, so just go over your go over your point again. Let me drop my water. Oh yeah, that's nice. Try not to cover all of your leaf with colour. If you keep your brush, your brush as flat as you can to your paper, and then it kind of gradiates down your brush. So you naturally get from dark to light. Oh, missed one more. Like so. Try and leave the white. If you're going to put some colour in the middle and colour at the end of your petals, try and leave some white. So it just makes sure it make, looks like you've got like a natural highlight there. Um, should we do some little red ones? This one is real red.
again just to colour around the edges and we'll do that on this side if you've got a little twist on your flower like this one has just take the colour a little bit more around and again brush flat and just go round when I used to teach painting in my shop um, the way I used to get the ladies to paint was one two three wiggle 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 and that was because you laid laid your brush flat and one two three wiggle 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 and that's that should be enough to pull your colour around and leave it because the more you go over it the more you'll cover up the white and you don't you don't want to cover up all the white yeah, another lovely one Ooh, what should we do next have we done this one yes we have we can do a bluey one oh sorry this one is bermuda Ma bermuda bay don't press really hard when you're using your pencils because it is it will be hard to get rid of your lines so just gently oh that one's lovely Sorry if you can hear my dog snoring. She's hogging the lamp and the fan even and snoring away today. That's a pretty one. Really pretty. I'm not going to add no more around the edges to that one because that one's quite dark as it is. Right, we've got an orange for some centres. Okay, and just on one side you don't need a lot and that one is pumpkin pie these are fab pencils they really are i mean i've got i've got watercolor pencils from from previous but these ones really do blend, blend lovely really like them yeah i'm just gonna do a darker blue Honestly, you'll be able to take a bit more time than what I am. And that one is a Pacific Point. Oh, that is gorgeous. Turn your work with you. And don't worry if you go outside the box so to speak because they do rub off as well even though they've they're wet normally when they've been wet they, they don't come off at all but that does so yeah that's basically it that's really really nice i like that um so yeah if you want to have a go watercolour pencils they are brilliant and you do get quite a few in a pack so pop them out of the way and we can start putting the card together right here we go all right i'm just gonna chop this one roughly down to size because i didn't cut it before so it's just going to be rough That's quite thick as well, so for this to go through my trimmer, it's not that great. One day I might be able to cut in a straight line. Ugh. I 
but it's better. Right, quarter punch. And your DSP, which is Garden Impressions, which was one of my first paper packs I brought and one of my favourites. It's beautiful. So we got that one. Um, I also stamped out Thank You from the same stamp set in Very Burst, I believe it is. Yep, Very Burst. So we're just going to pop some dimensionals on the back. And layer that one up slightly. And pop that one in the top there so you've got a little bit of height. Okay. Right, I'm going to stick that on the dimensionals as well. Don't worry about all the sizes because they'll all be on my blog. Instead of me trying to tell you oops, pulled that one off. Instead of me trying to tell you what tell you on here and everybody quickly um jotting them all down. Because I know I've done that myself. I've seen the video and thought brilliant. Oh, where's the paper before you know it's gone? So yeah. So that dimension was onto this one. Piece of Whisper White, again, corners. And I'm going to use Tombow because it's going to be quicker for the video because I've got a feeling this one could be a long one anyway. Like so. Oh, and I have totally just put that on the wrong side, haven't I? Ah! Hang on two seconds, I'm going to cheat. Let's stick that one onto here. And I'll quickly chop that one out again. I won't waste it. I'll quickly slip the corners off again. It doesn't matter. So there. Craft on blue boo boo. Never mind. You will never know. Oops. Spent to glue onto this one. Try that again. Let's do that. Everything's drying so quickly in here today because it's so hot. So that's lovely. See, you would never know if I've done that one wrong. <laughs> right. Make sure I stick this one right, eh? Let's get this one on. Oh, my right, right. So, yeah. Oh, the glue is just grabbing and sticking because it's so hot. Really, really warm. Right. That's that. Right, we need a piece of ribbon across the top. So I put a piece of double-sided tape
across there. Just leave enough to tuck round for some tails of your ribbon so you can hold it away nicely. Crumbs, it really is hot in here. Even the double sided sticky tape is not behaving. Piece of ribbon. Let's make sure I line that up again. And cross there. Little on your ends, just a little bit to tuck around into there. Onto there, but I think I'm going to need a little bit of Tombow one behind that one because that's come undone. Perfect. So there's that one which will go down there. I also done my scalloped edges. I don't know, they're dies, but I don't know what they're called because I was given to them from an old lady that passed away. Um, and I was luckily inherited all of her craft stock. So I, I don't know what I, they're called, but they are beautiful and they go on anything and look lovely. So we'll quickly pop them on. And I tend to put one up one end. Like so, and then I'll put the other one to the other end. Like so. So you have just a pretty little effect. All right, and then we're gonna plonk this onto the card. We'll get this one out of the way, and we can do the top little part. Better put a little extra on as I boo boo that one. That's a double bit of card. <laughs> am I up the right way? Yes, I am. Plunk that down the middle, like so. Now the top part is pretty straightforward. Piece of DSP, and again, I put some double-sided tape because we're going to put some ribbon on there. I promised myself I wouldn't use my new scissors for double sided sticky tape and straight away what am I doing? Like so, bend over the backs so you've got a little bit of tucky ribbon behind then one Hmm. Let's stick too hard on there. Right, and I've got some, I think it's one inch white. Like so. Just a little end, that's way too much. Tuck it over like so. Don't need the white one. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, we need a piece of pink through the middle. So another piece of double sided sticky tape through the middle. Round the back. Round the back. Tuck 
Take that one off. Like so. Little piece either end. Tuck over and fold. Tuck over and fold. And that's the top part. I'm trying to keep all my rubbish out of the way and the fan's just blowing it all back in this way. So sorry if, if I'm in a mess. Alright, I'm going to pop this one on with double-sided tape because it's got all that ribbon on and it is slightly stronger. Even my double-sided tape is blowing. One, two. Pop that one on the top like so. Then I had, I stamped previously, dear friend, it's from the same set again, but I'm just trying to pre-do a lot of stuff. One, so I don't bore you. And two, it's so hot. And this is a one and a half circle punch. And then I had just a random scallop from one of my dies that I did. So I'm going to add ink around the edges. The daubers, fab little things. Dab on the end, take off the excess, and just gently go round. Just takes off the boringness and on the scallops. It picks up on here, lovely. And a little piece of ink on the edge of these go a long way. All right, close that on. Dimensionals on the back. On top of that one. It's really pretty. And then I put dimensionals on the back of this one, but I also add Tombow on top of them because it's on ribbon, so that will help it stick a little stronger. So put your dimensionals on as you would. And then I add a little piece of Tombow as well pewed because it's on ribbon and then I add that to the middle just line up with your ribbon going across that way and then finally I have some gems there we go Right, if you if you use gems, get yourself a cheap white pencil and they pick them up perfectly. Rather than keep trying to do them with your finger and yep, yeah, so I pop one one side and one the other. Whoops. See how easy that is? No, I've just lost pink one, where did that go? So I should find another one in a minute. And on these ones I do there, and there, there, and there. So use your white pencil 
that wasn't supposed to happen. It is a lot easier <laughs> with your pencil. There we go. One. Now I have something sticky on my pencil. Try this on here. No, we are so hot in here with my pencils not working, so I do apologise, but normally it works perfectly. There we go, it does on some. It normally just picks up lovely. Let me just grab a pink one. I not have lost. Um, there we go. Finish that one off. On there, and then I just use one of the basic pearls and pop that one on there. So there you go, lovely card, really easy to make, all the sizes will be on my blog, um, do try the watercolour pencils, um, and you can you can colour anything with them, you're not just restricted to little images, I mean I used to sit and paint fairies and um, big flowers and cartoon characters, they're brilliant, they're so versatile what you can do with them, I mean yeah i'm pleased with them so i hope you enjoyed that don't forget we still have the buy three and get one free dsp papers until the end of july take advantage of that while you can these papers are superb um you won't be disappointed and also if you want to join my team and pay 99 pounds and you will receive almost 200 pounds on our offer in July from the 1st of July until the 31st you will receive and I'm really jealous a 10 pack of ink pads so yeah not one not two 10 10 ink pads worth 63 pounds um so if that hasn't got your juices flowing I don't know what will um all the details again will be on my blog so if you want to join me let me know or leave me a comment under here and I'll help you as much as I can but other than that two lovely cards really simple cards all right and I'm off because I'm hot bye